Come on in, guys. Welcome to the home of Jay Cutler. Four time Mr. O. All right, guys, so this is my entryway, obviously the waterfall here, and this is my, my living area. This is where I hang out most of the time. Everyone knows that the, uh, the living room, of course, is where you watch the TV, but I actually hang out in the kitchen and the living room, so I have a big kitchen, of course, as a bodybuilder. What we like to do is eat a lot, and I do actually cook for myself. I don't eat out all the time. This is probably the, my favorite room in the house because Number one, it's the coldest room, and the Vegas heat is always nice to be in a cold room. It's the darkest room, and it's probably the most relaxing room. Of course, I watch football, and I'm a huge sports fan, basketball, but we have the big bean bag here, the seven-foot bean bag. We got the theater chairs that, that uh, we can fit quite a few people in here and recline and, and sit back and watch some of the favorite movies. On the wall, you can see some of my favorite films over here. Of course, got to have the Arnold, the Arnold Terminator. Uh, Die Hard was my favorite, probably action movies. I was a huge Gladiator fan, and uh, Goodfellas, of course, we got to have that in there. And we have the memorabilia, which you see on the walls here. Think of the, uh, I'm a huge Mayweather fan, obviously, Peyton Manning. We'll check out the backyard next. So I live in a really quiet place. I mean, my neighborhood's pretty small. I only have about uh, about 12 homes in my whole development, so I know my neighbors well. And I don't have that many crazy parties with the neighbors, but we do have some uh, some fun once in a while over here. So next, we'll uh, I'll take you guys over to uh, to where I hang out in my room. This is where, uh, I guess they say all the magic happens in here, right? <laughs> this is where I kind of hang out and watch TV sometimes when I want to be in a more quiet atmosphere. My bed, yes, I make that bed every night with those pillows. This is my, my bathroom here. It's a little different. Uh, I like to always show the feature of the tub that fills by the ceiling here. So, it's a jacuzzi tub. So you get in here, you fill this tub, it spills over, and yes, I can fit in the bathtub. Actually, two people can fit in here. And this is, uh, this is my main closet. A lot of stuff is tailored, to be honest, like all my suits, none of that stuff fits anymore. That's all when I was a lot larger. I choose not to wear as many suits now. I use, um, I wear mostly more casual stuff, and, uh, I'm just more relaxed, you know, I, I still don't, I don't really dress up too, too, uh, too crazy anymore. Everyone always asks, does Jay Cutler have a gym? And I do have a gym, but I focus mostly on my cardiovascular at home. So I'm going to take you guys through. I did all my prepping uh, for my last few Olympias on this, on this uh, stair mill. This was actually... Uh, I was sponsored by Flex Equipment back in the day and I actually got a deal when, when uh, Star Trek purchased them. I was given all this equipment as part of my deal. A lot of people just ask me, I mean, why don't you have air conditioning out here since I do spend a lot of time actually in my garage, which is kind of rare, but I actually like working in the heat and like sweating. So just so everyone understands, I do have a supplement business, uh, Cut the Nutrition, which is based in Fort Lauderdale uh, with my partner's BPI, but I do run Cutler Athletics and Swole Monkey out of uh, Las Vegas. I started with one t-shirt and one eight by 10 pitcher. And now the brand has expanded so much. I don't only just sell clothing on my line on, on Cutler Athletics, but I sell uh, DVDs, I have hats. I actually have a tanning booth in my garage, okay? This was uh, given to me by, by one of my sponsors for many years, Hex Tanning. So. You know, you can, uh, you can come over to Jay Cutler's house and you can tan. So I actually have a tanning booth in my, in my house. That's how I got all that good color when I was winning Mr. Olympia contests. It still works, of course. Uh, anyone that's followed my career knows that I've always been kind of into 
to bikes. I had a bike back in a lot of my videos. Uh, this is a Ducati 1098. I'm not as much into sport bikes, but I had a good deal that came across and I ended up purchasing this last year. Uh, I've taken out a few times to the gym and uh, just up and down the street actually yesterday. But I was, was wearing a helmet, so that really doesn't count. Okay, so everyone knows what this is because they've seen it before, the, the Rolls Royce Ghost. So this is obviously, uh, you know, one of those things that everyone kind of has their dream car. Um, this is pretty much my everyday driver, believe it or not. I drive this uh, pretty much daily when I'm actually home in Las Vegas. Everyone always wants to know. Of course, it's got the umbrella. Right, it's got the Rolls umbrella, so if it rains, I'm always going to stay out of the rain. I've kind of saved the best for last, and I know a lot of social media has shown what my trophy room is, but I just want to say, like anyone that's seen it, that seen it online and actually comes and sees it in person, it's much better in person. So you guys are about to see, I think, which is probably the most displayed uh, memorabilia in our in our business is uh, the Jay Cutler office. So as you can see here, not only do we have four Sandows displayed nicely, we also have three Arnold Classic trophies here. But most importantly, we have all the medals from various shows. And, uh, most importantly, the Mr. Olympia. So we have. Uh, all the silvers here, um, you see all the golds, the four golds, and then of course finishing with the last year silvers, I finished second. A bunch of different covers, um, you see things from Japan, and this is you know somewhere in the Middle East, you see these. This is my first muscle and fitness cover ever. I was 21 years old in this picture, uh, my first muscle and fitness. My first professional win, Knight of Champions, the plaque and me holding the plaque, which was really cool. Um, my favorite cover of all time is this one right here. This was when I came back and won the Mr. Olympia in 2009. And this is me tearing apart the cover of Phil and Dexter who were supposed to beat me that year. We can't leave out the Sandow trophies which everyone knows that was what the biggest quest was to win, was uh, the Mr. Olympia. No Sandow trophy is ever the same. There's differences in every single Sandow. I mean, look at, the, look at the thickness of this bar, okay? And look at the thickness of this one. Okay, even the lean is different and the head, the head's in a different position. Even the base, like the base of this one, is a lot thicker than this one is. And the bar is really leaning on this one, where this one, it's more upright. So it's pretty cool where, you know, the history of that, uh, people don't really know, but no Sandow is actually the same, so it makes it more valuable. All right, guys, so you've seen pretty much everything in my house. I showed you guys a few points that maybe you haven't seen before. Uh, fortunately for me, I've lived in this home for quite some time, and I'm happy to call it home. Uh, I actually utilize a lot of the space here, as you see. Um, and uh, you guys, thank you so much to Muscle and Strength for coming out and, and supporting myself and giving the opportunity for all the fans around the world to be able to see this and uh, enjoy what it takes to be Mr. Olympian and the benefits of uh, becoming a champion bodybuilder. So stay tuned for more guys. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be active and, and watch for my content right there on Muscle and Strength and uh, make sure you keep training hard and uh, dream big. We'll see you next time.